Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are gonna do an unboxing. Um, I will explain more to it into the actual video too. But with the unboxing, we got some cool things and I was able to test everything out. The box that we are gonna be unboxing is Boxy Charm. I will mention it again in the other video. Everything's out of it, so it's like very light. Um, but we got some cool things in there. We ended up getting two eyeshadow palettes. I used one of them. The other one we will use in another video um, as testing it out and I'll do the swatches on it. But today I only did swatches on one and tested it out on my eyes. So I really hope you guys like it and just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So as you guys can see from the thumbnail and the intro, I am going to do an unboxing. Um, this was supposed to be videoed and what it's called up on my channel yesterday but I had a dear friend come into town and decided to rent my forehead out for a couple days and tried getting her away today and she fought with me just wanted to stay a little bit longer so here we are and I tried covering her up the best that I could so and also my nails are very very lovely right now but that's not the unboxing so I did open this box a little bit just because my cousin brought it to me and she's like, I want to see what's inside. And then my mom was like, I want to see what's inside. So I ended up opening it, which is okay because I got to see what was all in it, which is pretty cool because I've never had one of these boxes before. So I actually like what all came in it, but it is Foxy Charm. Um, if you guys do want to get nice size products and good things, I would recommend Foxy Charm. I do $25 a month. And this is my first box, but I will tell you right now that it is actually amazing what you get inside of it. And I was very shocked. So, um, yeah. I know a lot of people do Ipsy, but I don't like Ipsy due to the fact that it's just like the mini things. I know you can pay more for the bigger, like, actual size makeup, but mm, I don't feel like it. So, just when you open it up, just says boxy charm, you have some bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap, though, so, me. I won't pop it on camera. But first we have some refreshing clean, cleansing hemp wipes. Um, I did obviously put some makeup on so I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna use this but we can always see in another video since I always do end up wiping something away. But those, this is Touch and Touch and Soul. Pretty filter glassy skin balm. So it's really pretty the packaging. Is it the other way? It is the other way. Ah. Skin balm. Does it matter where you use it? Or like it's in Japanese. That's cool. This side. How to use at the last step of skincare routine, apply evenly to the face as needed to achieve dewy and glowy skin. Applying two or three times allows for either for the uh, for even longer lasting wear. Keep out of reach of children. Hmm. Well, I really should have looked at this stuff before I started like putting foundation on. But we will definitely use that in the next video. Because I can tell you right now we have two different palettes in here and I'm not using both of them today. You know what? I didn't even smell it. I kind of want to smell it. See what it smells like. I don't know what that smells like to me. It smells good though. I just don't know like what it reminds me of. I don't know. Maybe it reminds me of glossy. So there's that. My boyfriend's totally going to hate me with all these boxes because I already have six fours drool. Um, you guys heard that right six drawers full of makeup this is facial radiance pads help exfoliate tone and brighten once again something i could have used before and it is sealed which is cool but i am just gonna go ahead and open it oh god that was easy i mean not gonna lie i don't know i don't really like the smell of those like it smells like 
I don't know, like, I don't know if a lot of people had this, like, if you have, like, acne or something, like, you know, like, the smell of, like, it, like, minty cleaning it, but minus the minty just a little bit, that's what it smells like. So it's not, like, bad, it's just I didn't expect it to smell like that. Because, I mean, that smell doesn't really bother me. I just didn't expect this to smell like that, but... Yeah, it does say first aid beauty. Um, yes, this is right there. First aid beauty. I'm not the greatest at looking for things. Next, we have some brushes. So I didn't put any bronzer or anything on because I really wanted to try these brushes. Let's see. I can definitely use this box when it comes first time though. Even like a little. What are these called? I can't think what they're called. The, oh, oh, honey, those are soft. Oh wow! And right, now you're not supposed to touch them with your hands, but oh my god, that is soft. What in the like? Alamar? Alamar? It's it's on the brush. And this one's like almost like I don't know if you guys can see it, but like almost like stipply. So maybe it's for foundation. Oh! <laughs> it says on the side. Bronzer brush. Brightening brush. Complexion brush. But if I'm gonna be honest, I never use these because this one would probably end up being my bronzer brush and this one might be like, end up putting powder on or something. Oh wow, these are soft. They almost look like my other brushes I got from like a long time ago. Just much cleaner and easier. If I keep getting brushes in these boxes, I can get rid of so many different brushes. And that actually kind of be pretty nice. Oh my god. I can't believe how good these feel. Uh, okay, okay. Now I have an empty Amazon box here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the little things I open in here. Although my mom is gonna want this box when it comes to Christmas. Okay, I'm on a rolly chair. My mom's gonna walk in here and be like, what are you doing? I'm having fun. So the next thing is a palette. It's actually really pretty. At first when I opened it, I was like, why is it dirty? It's the look of the palette. I'm just not that smart. So it's Fairy Tale Story Book Cosmetics. It's very gorgeous, looks like a book. And when you open it, it has a mirror and it has some colors. And it's actually really, you can see my phone and everything in this mirror, hello. But it's very pretty. I was just trying to think like what I would use these colors for. But we're gonna test them out today. This is the one I decided we'll test out today because it's pretty cute. So and then we got some little foam pad here. I'll leave this in the box. That's it for the box. So what, how many things was that? One, two, three, four, six. Six? Six cents? Yeah, which isn't bad for $25. And as you guys can see, the palette, well, that one palette is nice. Then we got another one somewhere in Bubble and Wrap. Iconic London. Um, Day to Slay Eyeshadow Palette. Create endless beautiful looks with these 20 highly pigmented pink, peach, bronze, and gold shades. These velvety soft powders include a mixture of matte shimmers, glitters for flawless day to night looks. Warning, the product gets into eyes or in smell with water immediately keep out of reach of children. Okay. I usually don't keep these. I know a lot of people do because they want to keep their thing clean. I don't because then I'm always taking it in and out using it. It's just a lot of work. But this one has some really pretty shape. Got it. Really gorgeous shades in here and this one because I have I even have the Jeffree Star palette 
not his new one, which I really wish I did, but another palette, I haven't even used that. So the more I get these boxes and if I keep getting two palettes in them, we are gonna do use one, another video, test out the other one. So this is gonna be for a different one just because today is a Sunday and I'm not really gonna go out and do anything. So that's why I'm gonna use this one that only has a little bit of colors. This one will be maybe for a Saturday when I have something big to do. But it's gorgeous. I am very excited to use all this stuff. Oh my God, see I don't even have room. I don't even have room. But see, I still have this one and I still haven't even used it. Like I bought it. But you know what? St. Patrick's Day is coming up and she has some pretty greens in there, doesn't she? But she's got like, but she's got the gold too. So that just might work. Pretty, okay. Alrighty, see, speaking of, I don't even use these things. <laughs> it was off my thing, so I'll just throw that away right now. Alrighty, so since I didn't, I haven't even set my face with powder because I was gonna think I was getting brushes. Um, see, complexion, like, wouldn't that be like bronzer to you? It is to me. Oh, my powder's already out. So, of course, going by Too Faced, I am gonna use them a bronzer brush for the powder. But I don't know, I just feel like with those stipples, it like certain places would get dark with the bronzer and I don't know if I really want that. I don't know, maybe it doesn't even and out, who knows? But, okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and dip in. I'm really excited to use this on my face though, because it's so soft. Oh. My face has been really dry, and I don't know why, like, I moisturize, I do everything, but it just hates me, which is okay. Oh my god, this is so soft. It's like a soft blanket. The soft blankets you get from the store, you just don't want to let go of. And that's what that feels like. Like, I would be totally okay with just, like, I never mind. Alrighty, then I really need to clean out my makeup stuff. Like it's since I started these videos, it's just like it looks very um messy. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in with the um, complexion brush, and I'm actually gonna use my bronzer, which we all know is the morning. The same color. I mean, it picks up pr pigment pretty well. It has a little flyaway though. You guys see me? It's one little flyaway. That's okay though. That put it on beautifully. Oh wow. I found a cheekbones. It's actually really pretty, but I am just gonna go ahead and take the other one and buff it out just a little bit. I know some people like the harsh bronzer line. I don't. Now, a harsh highlighter line, I'm all for it. But I can't even stuff those in there. I don't even have room for these brushes. So we are gonna have to figure something out. But now I'm gonna use this other one for the highlighter, the um brightening brush. It's good enough brightening. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go in with my Becca, which is very pretty. I need to get more of. This is definitely, I got it from my cousin's fiance, Rachel. She's a big makeup person like I am. And she was just going through stuff that she didn't want. And I went and I saw this. I think my mom was a little bit mad at me because I got it. But I think she ended, she ended up getting one too. It's just more pink instead of like gold. But she still loves it and we're both running out and we're like, oh, I'll go buy it. You guys don't know how soft this brush is. But it makes the highlight pop. Huh? 
That is really pretty. Very not disappointed with these brushes. It says like you can go on the website and it'll tell you like all the different things you could get within your February box. Cause that's my February box. Um, it came really late, but <laughs> there was some things I wanted that I didn't get, but that's okay. Like there's something like with tanning and it's because I am live in Arizona and I look like this. So I was just like, if I can tan a little bit easier, but I used to be able to tan so easy. So easy, I don't know what happened. I gotta move all this stuff. And I totally forgot to clean brushes, but from when we did the purple, blue, and teal look, it's very light pigment. Like you still see some coming off. I tried cleaning them just a little bit, but I was like, I can use them. That's okay. So now, since we actually have powder and bronzer, everything on, we will go into this. It's really such a cute look though. I honestly just love it. I feel like none of these I can really pronounce. Well, no, I can. So we have Briar Rose, which is that one. Spindle, Kalia. So I'm just gonna go with that. Castle, Prince, Brim, Beauty, Woodland, Enchanted, Fairies, I don't know what that is. Thorn? Thorn. Thorn. Wow. Thorn and kiss. I am. Wow. Okay. So I really don't know what I want to do for this look because these are all so pretty. Um. You know what? I think I'm going to start with. Because there's more pinks in here. I think I want to do pink. Still, well, sort of pink. So I am gonna add some of the grim, brim, brim, brim in there to darken it up just a little bit, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and go in with um, the Briar Rose. Drop everything. Has good pigment. It's on there. It's like a blush pink. You guys can see that very blush pink, which is okay. I don't think they necessarily had makeup that was like, wow. Then we'll go in with the other side. It's actually like really pretty good. And I'll swatch all of them on my arm too. Oh, look, that's all these will come in handy. That's actually really pretty. Like, I'd be okay with just that. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a different brush. I'm gonna go into Kiss, which is the sparkle pink at the bottom. I kinda wanna see if like, these sparkles are gonna come up with it, and oh my god, it does. There we Oh my god. My speech problem just kicked in right there if you guys didn't notice. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. You can like cut. Hold up. Get out of here and come out. But that is gorgeous. I don't know who my mom's talking to. I know we have my aunt coming over and my cousin. Because I got my mom a cricket for her birthday. And I don't think she's ever stopped thinking about it, to be honest. <laughs> and my aunt's gonna come over and show her since my aunt has had one for a little bit and then my cousin's gonna come over, which is okay. Cause I always love seeing my cousin. Even though like we're kind of far in age, like we're just like really close, so it's nice. But I'm actually gonna leave it at that because it is gorgeous. I don't even wanna touch it. Like I don't, besides put it more of a base on, but so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm really, oh my God. I'm debating what base to use. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. Oh 
Okay, so that I I am gonna use my finger because I like using my finger for this part. I think I'm gonna go in with enchant enchanted. It is very soft to the touch, guys. Like you guys can see that. I know it's trying to my phone's trying to. It is oh lordy. That is pretty. That is definitely like a very pretty color. And I need to add some of this pink to the bottom without getting it everywhere because I already have foundation in them. But that, you guys can see it, it is just stunning. I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye. Okay, so there was some fallout like on here, but it wasn't bad at all. But I know the three that I used, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my eye makeup and then I will be right back and we'll swatch all these. Okay, so I'm back, did everything. My eyeliner is kind of messed up just because I realized I was using the wrong eyeliner. I have like my e.l.f. one and then I have another one can't think of who it's by, but um, it has a stiff brush, and like it just is not going on, and I was like, what's going on? So I, then I realized, um, but it worked out, it looks good. So now we'll go ahead and swatch. Um, so we did Briar Rose, you guys saw that on the eyes. We will go ahead and do Spindle. I do have, yeah. Spindle is just very, like a sheer pink. It's really pretty on the arm. Let me see if I can, there, we'll do that. So you guys are gonna see me, that's okay. <laughs> so you guys can see what it looked like on the arm. Now we're gonna go in with Kalia. That is very, very pretty. I just wipe it on the edge of my washcloth. <laughs> we'll go in with Castle. I think it's pretty. Oh my god, this is hard. Prince. That is really pretty. Now I need to. We'll see how these wipes go. They smell good. They're very like, you guys see the bubbles and stuff on them? I just need to get some stuff off my hand so I can get the NYX products. Didn't work that well, okay. So now we're going with Brim. Beauty. That one glided on woodland, which might be hard to show up, but it's there. It's there in effort. I have a little clump of it, but it's there, I promise. We did enchant it, so we'll go to fairies. Pretty. And then let's use, so then we have Thorn. It's like a blush pink. It's actually really pretty. 
These are really pretty colors. I have it all over me. Just all over. These whites seem good so far. The only thing is like there's a lot of a lot of moisture in them. But it's not a bad thing. But these are all colors besides the three that we use on the eyeball. But I don't know, I really like that one and that one. The shimmers. Which is weird. I mean the silver is okay too. But this one pops the most. Now we'll just see how, since we have them on our arm, how the wipe works. Not bad. I mean, I'm still gonna have glitter on my arm. But I took like everything off. Huh. That was nice. Like, don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm still gonna have some glitter just because it's the product. But it's not bad. Wow. Well, there is that. Um, I believe next week is probably gonna be a nails video because I really gotta get these done. And then a the week after that should be um, a St. Patrick's Day look that will be probably I'll probably end up using my Jeffree Star for that. Cause in his palette, there is greens and they're really pretty. So we can use that. Um, hopefully this box in March won't take forever to get here. If it does, it'll either be the second week or the last week of March. We'll see. Second to last or last. Um, I do have a calendar and I kind of put like what I was going to do for the videos. Um, but we'll see. We will see. And then always, of course, open the other palette and actually use it. The iconic one we just got. We'll actually use it in a video to see because they are pretty too. And we'll swatch them in that video. I'm not gonna swatch them on this one, but we'll swatch them in the other. These are more of colors I would use on a daily basis as well. But alrighty, well, you need to find room for all this stuff. <laughs> but I hope you guys liked it. I don't even have room, dude. At all. Like, what am I supposed to do here? They fit on my other book of stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I loved everything in that box. And I'm telling you guys, if you go to Boxy Charm, like it'll kind of show you what you can get in the box, but you're not gonna get all of it. Cause they show you, I think, like 10 different things, and you only get well, I got like six. So maybe it like differs between the sizes of things. Um, but it's amazing. First box, love that these brushes are absolutely soft. I mean, they're all dirty now since I use them, but soft. So thank you guys so much for watching and I, I will see you guys next week.